been about 10 months now. Yeah, we have some members who are carpenters, we have some who are electricians, we have uh, other members who uh, are good model builders. Uh, some people have multiple skills, but oftentimes we'll, we'll have members who take on a particular task, such as building bench work, and, and they'll work on that as long as bench work needs to be built. Here's a photograph of the loop, and that's what we were building upstairs. So the trains come, come out of Tunnel 9 down here in a cut, and they work their way around this hill, and then back into the foreground here where you see this locomotive. So that shows you how the trains are actually going around in a circle. So you'll have that terrain also built right, in there. Right, we'll have the hill in the middle, and we'll have the farmhouses down here in the, in the, the low part. Here's another photograph of a train coming down the hill. It has proceeded around the loop. This is the hill that's in the middle of the loop. And here you see the rear end of the train going around the north side of the loop, whereas the front end of the train has already gone around, gone through Tunnel 9, made the 180 degree curve, and is heading down towards the uh, fifth crossing of Tehachapi Creek. Yes, we estimate that it's going to take at least an hour for a train to traverse the, the railroad once we're finished. She's a combination of the Wabash Cannonball. We'll listen to the jingle around the land of the road as she glides along the woodland by the hills and